Sigalovada Sutta. The Discourse to Sigala. The Layperson's Code of Discipline. Young Householder, does a noble disciple cover the six directions? The following should be looked upon as the six directions. The parents should be looked upon as the east. Teachers as the south. Wife and children as the west. Friends and associates as the north. Servants and employees as the nadir. Ascetics and Brahmins as the zenith. In five ways, young householder, a child should minister to his parents as the east. Having supported me I shall support them. I shall do the duties. I shall keep the family tradition. I shall make myself worthy of my inheritance. Furthermore I shall offer arms in honor of my departed relatives. In five ways, young householder, the parents thus ministered to as the East by their children, show their compassion. They restrain them from evil. They encourage them to do good. They train them for a profession. They arrange a suitable marriage. At the proper time they hand over their inheritance to them. In five ways, young householder, a pupil should minister to a teacher as the South. By rising from the seat in salutation. By attending on him. By eagerness to learn. By personal service. By respectful attention while receiving instructions. In five ways, young householder, do teachers thus ministered to as the South by their pupils, show their compassion. They train them in the best discipline. They see that they grasp their lessons well. They instruct them in the arts and sciences. They introduce them to their friends and associates. They provide for their safety in every direction. In five ways, young householder, should a wife as the West be ministered to by a husband. By being courteous to her. By not despising her. By being faithful to her. By handing over authority to her. By providing her with adornments. The wife thus ministered to as the West by her husband shows her compassion to her husband in five ways. She performs her duties well. She is hospitable to relations and attendants. She is faithful. She protects what he brings. She is skilled and industrious in discharging her duties. In five ways, young householder, should a clansman minister to his friends and associates as the North. By liberality. By courteous speech. By being helpful. By being impartial. By sincerity. The friends and associates thus ministered to as the North by a clansman show compassion to him in five ways. They protect him when he is heedless. They protect his property when he is heedless. They become a refuge when he is in danger. They do not forsake him in his troubles. They show consideration for his family. In five ways should a master minister to his servants and employees as the nadir. By assigning them work according to their ability. By supplying them with food and with wages. By tending them in sickness. By sharing with them any delicacies. By granting them leave at times. 
The servants and employees thus ministered to as the nadir by their master show their compassion to him in five ways. They rise before him. They go to sleep after him. They take only what is given. They perform the duties well. They uphold his good name and fame. In five ways, young householder, should a householder minister to ascetics and Brahmins as the zenith. By lovable deeds. By lovable words. By lovable thoughts. By keeping open house to them. By supplying their material needs. The ascetics and Brahmins thus ministered to as the zenith by a householder show their compassion towards him in six ways. They restrain him from evil. They persuade him to do good. They love him with a kind heart. They make him hear what he has not heard. They clarify what he has already heard. They point out the path to a heavenly state.